Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today I'll show you minimal type logo. So I made this logo by the help of the shape and the pen tool. You can use the stroke mode or you can use a pen tool. That means the both are okay for this type of design. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, I'm going to the file just here and going to the new options and any kind of square shape outboard or whichever you do prefer you can take but in this video i'm taking 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and giving the name after that hit the create button you're getting the blank artboard and now you can turn on the graph paper press ctrl or command uh, like third bracket actually this is the inverted comma ctrl or command inverted comma you can make the graph like on and again you can press the same button you can make the graph turn off off or on you can press the same button and uh, follow uh, the shortcut keys in the screen and now after that just taking the pen tool press p from the keyboard and i'm taking these two lines actually uh, here here and here you can take the guideline by the help of the guideline you can make it more easier press ctrl command r for the ruler actually the ruler and you can take here the ruler like this and you can take ruler like this and you can take the ruler like this and uh, how much area you want to take just taking this type of thing that means one two three and one two that means like a, a three two zero six box you are taking and after that just press once over here you will get the anchor point and you can press and hold the sheet button or you can intercept this one um, automatically that means this one intercept automatically just select once over there and over there okay good press the enter button it will like uh, disclose this one and just delete this this select over there and no color that means the fill color and stroke nothing over there and uh, here I'll give the stroke like that and increase the stroke thickness into like 20 that's good so anyway uh, one thing is that if you want to get the like a workspace like me you can go to the painting options and you can getting this one as it is like me okay after that select over there and uh, I have to turn off the graph paper uh, it's making you like illusions in your uh, like uh, eyesight or view so press ctrl or command like inverted comma and press a select this one and press a from the keyboard that is the direct selection tool and make it round like that okay or you can do like this and after that select this one press v from the keyboard and after that ctrl c and ctrl f c for the copy and f for the forward paste and right press and make it transform and reflect and make it horizontal reflection and hit ok and press the shift and hold it and just use the arrow key for the movement press ctrl or command y you'll get the outline mode and make sure that these two line just adjust with each other so you can just make it like that press ctrl or command y you're getting like that okay now select all the stops press a from the keyboard and make it round like that so those things are not round over there those are the extra select all the stops press shift m shape builders tool press alter option button minus those portion and minus this portion okay nice and you can make the thickness upper that means uh, you can give it 40 that's fine and now select all the stops press ctrl c and ctrl f and press the shift and hold it and you can rotate this one so after rotating that you can take all the steps but i'll make it bigger more bigger actually i want to make it like that okay that's fine select all the steps press shift m shape builders tool 
and minus all the stuffs by pressing and like a uh, alter option button and hold it and deleting the stuffs the extra areas you can just make it like that so you are getting the perfect shape which is the a u or a d whatever it is select all the stroke and go to the object and you can make it expand and hit the ok button now you are getting the full logo which is not uh, stroke mode this one is the shape and select all the things the shift m again shape builders tool and make the logo full fill by using the shapes so you can make it like that that's it you are getting a minimal logo now this one is grouped now i'll make it bigger by pressing shift and hold it and make it over there so you can make um, many versions how to make many versions so i'm taking another artboard and just pressing over there shift or alter button and hold it and replicate that things and now i'll take three or four copies that means the uh, rectangle shape and how to do that and going to the rectangle tools and giving here 2000 by 2000 and actually just making it in a middle that's good and taking like line like that so i'll divide that things in a four square shapes how to do that take the line segment tool by pressing the slash button and press the shift when you're getting the pink color like guidelines so one thing is that if you not showing or watching this uh, pink line you have to turn on this one how to do that go to the view options and here the smart guideline guideline you have to turn it on otherwise you can't uh, see the pink line when it's uh, like aligned or properly that means uh, the intercept portion okay i'm just draw a line and over there but this one is not in the middle how to make it properly middle you have to press ctrl or command y you will find out the lines outline mode and make it in a middle so properly middle aligned and you can divide the those things how to divide that here is the pathfinder tool if you want to get the pathfinder tool over there you have to go to the window and you have to turn on the pathfinder tool here and from here i'll just make it divide and right press and ungroup okay fine and i'll give the white color a little bit and i'll give the another like color suppose it could be the blue color and it could be the orange color that's good and now i'll make the replica of these things so i have to copy this one and make it in a like upper layer by pressing third bracket uh, uh, closing or opening and uh, command or shift button and you can make it like that so i'll do another thing which is like in a circle i'll place over there how to make it taking circle or ellipse from here and making it uh, ellipse like that and press ctrl or command v press ctrl or command y select this logo and make it in upper side layer and make it white like that okay make the alignment properly in the middle press ctrl or command g and make it alignment in a proper middle okay i'm replicate that things by pressing alter and dragging it just like that and just like that so here i'll make it white by pressing i for the color picker or i'll take this one that's good i want to make it black actually you have to make this one black that means it's nice and that is good and you have to make it this color and you have to make it actually this color or you can make it white that will be good for that so you are getting the four version of your logo that means uh, when you are 
using the color which is uh, like uh, the background color and logo is representing the background color so i'll make it white actually now it's perfect a black and white combination black and white combination and the other colors that's fine now uh, if you want to make it uh, like uh, another step say um, uh, suppose if you want to make it mock up i downloaded this one from the freepeak.com and i'll provide you the download link in my video description so please check it out now i'll make copy by press, pressing ctrl or command c that means copy that things and going to the mock-up over there you will find out the smart object double press over there you will get another window which is the smart window or smart object window turn off the logo press ctrl or command v and you will find out a small box select the pixels and hit ok or you can make it a smart object when you are making it a smart object when you are changing or you want to change this logo you will have to uh, open this one into the illustrator automatically or it will open up in illustrator automatically actually so i'm making it pixel i don't want to edit this one in future if you want you can do that so this one is placed over there press ctrl or command a and make the alignment in the middle press ctrl or command s for the save button it will save into the previous window actually in this window yeah you are getting the logo in a mock-up version so this one was the uh, 3d logo mock-up and minimal logo how to make in a illustrator and you can represent yourself or your logo to the behance dribble and the facebook wherever it is or you can provide this one to your client so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and if you want to get the uh, like stock things like the uh, like mock-up please check out my mock-up download link or in my video description i given the download link over there until the next video i am asmrf signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye